Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you're just tuning in, we're asking, can Nigerians live simple lives? Now, remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Waze Show Africa 1 with the hashtag Waze. Or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. So, ladies, right. the question, can Nigerians live simple lives? I think yes. I absolutely But Nigerians have to decide that they will begin to live their lives on their own terms, not on... Um, borrowed ideas mm. of how life should be, I think. You so. know, the thing is, when we talk about living a simple life, a lot of us would think that it's about, like, for people who don't have money, right? For instance, if you ask me, yes, I live a pretty simple life. Like, I'm a very resourceful person. If I want to travel, I go through the different websites. I'm looking for the cheaper ones. I'm not like, you know what, first class, let's just get it. No, I'm looking mm -hmm. for the easy way out. So for me, if you ask, can we, one of the tips I have for living simple life is be resourceful. If you don't need it, let go of it. Live on a budget. I have everything budgeted and I don't think I lack anything. If I lack it, that means I've not called it a priority or it's like really low on my priority list. So um, yeah, be resourceful mm -hmm. and learn to maintain things. Don't just say, you know what, it's Paul, toss it. If, find out, is there a way I can maintain this stuff? Mm. You know, uh, but the thing is, a lot of people will call you a cheapo, but this is what I do. Jay Z said, if you cannot afford to buy something twice, then that means you're poor. So, for me, I think it's I can about buy this pen twice. <laughs> Does that make me poor? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's referring to the expensive thing. Yes, he's, he's totally yes, referring yes, to the obviously. expensive thing. So, um, to me, it's about culture shift. So, we have to. Um, change our mindset on how we um, deliberate on dif different things that has to do with our culture. For example, we have the there's a concept that says that there are three important or uh, uh, three important days in someone's life, which is the day the person is born, death, mm -hmm. and marriage. So um, when you're born, parents are the ones that go out there to do all, everything for you. Then you're now brought up to the concept of marriage where you go all out to do what you want for yourself. But in death, mm. they go all out for you. Mm -hmm. So if we as individuals now decide, okay, in marriage, in uh, sorry, in birth, in, in uh, marriage and in death, we now cut our, cut our clothes or mm -hmm. whatever to according to our sites. In Africa, for example, we decide to, you know, spend more than is normal for uh, you know for uh, the birth of a child or marriage or for death. Somebody who mm -hmm. has already died, you bury the person. No, but you were on this with... table, Isi. Don't let don't get me started on that. <laughs> with... You were on this table when I said something about if somebody dies, mm -hmm. just bury the person wherever they are. But you were saying something about our culture, our culture. Our and culture. I said now so... that the culture shift. We need that culture shift. Oh, so shift. now you are you are changing your mind. That is what I'm saying. Okay. That's the no, but there's nothing right wrong with. Burying the yeah. person according to culture just minimize your cost exactly so, thank you if you want to you, see, you have to choose you cannot talk from both sides of your no mind. you can't no, you can't find the balance no. there is something they call gray area there is black there is white and there is gray. So See, gray area is that area where you do is not go. There are no gray areas in simplicity. In Uti, <laughs> let me hear you please. <laughs> mm. Uti, are you there? Or did we lose her again? Okay. Somebody so, says, I think most times, mm -hmm. huh, most times the flashiness comes from a place of low self-esteem. And I think thank I mentioned you. this. Yes. Most people think they would be accepted if they show up. What, mm -hmm. I mean, if they show up what they, what they Who have, they are. or even sometimes what they are pretending to have. Right. Do you understand? I, I completely I agree. Complete, so now this is where the problem lies. And I mm -hmm. mentioned it earlier. You know, we, we are... We are living a script that we are not aware mm. that this is somebody else's script that we're living by. Mm -hmm. You know, so if we begin to live life on our own terms, I love mm -hmm. what Chisom said, and I think I'll read that comment again. You know, that mm -hmm. we need to start to that in the Western world they would rather declutter, recycle, mm -hmm. repair instead of replacing. And if you look at our governance, mm -hmm. for instance. Mm -hmm. You know, these things, you see, we're talking about simplicity. It plays out on all, all levels. Everywhere. On all levels, right? Mm -hmm. we, we are not able to sit down to say, okay, you know what? What do we have? We want to do a party. I don't have the money, but what do I have in my home? And that's why I love one of my friends, um, Norma. Mm. She is so resourceful. Very resourceful. Extremely resourceful. Yes. Whatever it is that she has within her home there, 
she can she decide works to with create it. a world class party. That is party. so true. Well, I'm telling you. So that's what I'm saying. That these are little steps. And guess mm -hmm. what? The children are watching. They are also mm -hmm. growing with that mindset. Mm -hmm. We should stop mm -hmm. this idea that if I don't do it this way, it's and people also do not respect people because they're showing up in an SUV. Do not respect people because they're wearing mm -hmm. all the designer brands. But do not respect people. Try to begin to respect people's value. So exactly. now if I see people's Sansi, integrity. what value does she bring yes. to me? Right? Mm -hmm. What value? It might be as simple as all the time correcting my English. Ua. Mm -hmm. That thing you posted on Instagram. It's not you didn't, correct. You didn't, you didn't post it properly. Mm -hmm. I respect those things because, you know what? She's mm -hmm. making me a better person. Mm -hmm. But I know people that if you do not attach money to ah, that relationship, no it's not working. I mean, they do not see you worthy. That shows the materialistic level of that individual. It's as too. simple as that. We need to begin to re-engineer re the mind reorient people's uh, mindset about things you know you know madiba said something he said teach the children that africans are not one iota inferior to other races so i would rephrase it to say teach the children in nigeria that they are not inferior in any form or in any way so they don't have they don't it's need to prove now, they don't need to prove you know what i would say that, I, will I will further refrain mm, i will re rephrase mm. that statement it's not yes. about teaching them mm -hmm. it's about showing them exactly you understand? Live, about lead or live, live by example yes. Yes. exactly show them that they are important and they are worth your time mm -hmm. you know so i would not give you 100 percent of my time yes and i give you 50 percent of my time why because mm -hmm. when you show up you come in your gucci and your your whatever your, now, your look at now okay so let us even go back to the social media angle that i talked about okay on social media why do people follow people have you seen that it is also when you when you express those kind of flamboyance, except maybe if you're a pastor, hmm. go and check Even on if social you're a media. Pastor. So when you see somebody posting like pictures like this and that, that is being shown on TV, hmm. you would see that that kind of person would attract millions of followers because why everybody's mm -hmm. rushing towards that validation that Sansi was talking about mm. you know right i see you nodding yeah you want to say yeah i definitely have to say that it's important that when we when we feel because social media is here to stay yeah we should learn that it is absolutely okay to admire people like Utip mentioned absolutely. kim kardashian's wedding you can look at it and gush over it and be like mm -hmm. oh this is so adorable and romantic that's mm -hmm. fine but also understand that you don't have to copy it because you admire it. Kim is worth m hundreds of millions, millions of, dollars. of dollars. And I think re recently she, she became a billionaire. And mm -hmm. so many Hollywood actresses, even Nollywood actresses, sometimes mm -hmm. their husbands or they're married into wealthy families. So you mm -hmm. can't compare your, them to your husband that earns 250 and you want to kill yourself. Even no. Kim. Mm -hmm. Admire. Sorry, darling. Even yeah. the Kim that mm -hmm. you're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, Forbes came out to say Kylie Jenner was mm -hmm. um, the youngest billionaire, blah, blah, blah. They came back again and to say that, that they, that's uh, whatever they had done. The, they had done the background work and they've checked a lot of things and they saw that there were a lot of falsification of figures. Mm -hmm. Even the Kim Kardashian you're calling, right? Mm -hmm. Kim Kardashian does not pay for everything that she, she that you that see is on social media. That is she true. is a brand. So people, She's a, a, brand a Rolls Royce, for instance, will give her a brand new Rolls Royce to ride because they know mm -hmm. that when she's riding it, people would want to buy it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah, so where we do not understand, the, mm -hmm. we need to draw the line. There is reality mm -hmm. and there is a social media life. And also, there is nothing wrong with wanting to buy a, a beautiful car because Kim or your role model or mm. whoever you adore mm -hmm. is driving it. But before you go for that, yes, there are people who can easily afford it. But you check, see, check yourself. Be, I think the, the, the bottom line is be honest to yourself. What can I afford? What is my level in life? What is it that I can afford and live by According your, means. To your means? When you get to it, because simplicity is on different levels. Exactly. A person who earns 20,000 naira, their version of simplicity is different from a person who earns 500,000 naira every mm -hmm. month. So at the end of the day, check your means, see what what um, um, the level of life that makes you comfortable, where you don't have to go beyond yourself trying to impress people. Yeah. Just be I, I, basic. I think we have Uti back now. Uti, can you hear me? Or, or, or. It's really, um, the network has been fluctuating. Fluct oh, okay. I just wanted yeah. to quickly add to this to say, look, that um, I want to be positive and say that Nigerians will, can live simple lives. I think that if we don't start to make real changes, we will continue to see this proliferate because the young people of today 
are the ethics that we're developing in them, the things that they value are the things of um, of wealth, of flamboyance. Mm -hmm. They think, you know, it's not okay now for me to want to drive um, a small Toyota Corolla, in fact, Toyota Corolla is high end, to drive a little Picanto. Um, everybody wants to drive a Range Rover, a Rolls Royce, a Bentley. And I'm thinking, what do you do that is going to get you to drive one of these things? So when you even look at people like Hush Puppy and you look on their, at the comments on their Instagram account, people are, are celebrating these people who have questionable means of, of, of money. Oh you don't see people who work hard for their money, people who we know have millions and millions of billions of dollars. We don't see them flaunting their money on social media. So when somebody comes and does that, you ask yourself, what's that person's motivation? What work are you doing to earn this money? Um, and that's what our young people are seeing. That's what they're being desensitized with. Um, and that is something that we now have to start to take very seriously because I like to call it the lost years. I once read a book um, about Jesus's life that was called the lost years and it tried to speak to the times in between his youth and the first miracle. Now, in the same way, we have people that grow up together. Then this guy goes off. You don't see him for five years or so. And the next time you see him, he's riding in a, in a Rolls Royce or in, in a, a Range Rover. Yeah. And you don't care where his money came from. It's just this is your guy. Your guy is now a rich guy. He has hammered. So how do I be friends with this person? Nobody now is thinking, dig, digging deeper and going to the source. I mean, I don't need to know your whole story, but I need to know that whatever you're doing, you can actually afford this money that you're spending and that you're earning it in a legal manner. I don't need to know your business. And that's what we need to start to get to train people to see that these questionable means of money, it's not about just being a big spender. Our Nigerians are known worldwide as big spenders. And that's not a good reputation to have because what we're seeing is that over the years, the proliferation of corruption in this country has caused an explosion of this flamboyance. Easy money is spent in an easy manner. Yes. When you work hard for your money, trust me, you're not going to be flaunting it around. On social media. Absolutely. Very few people that have worked legally and worked hard to earn their money do that. But as we have seen, you know, the proceeds of corruption, we have seen people build houses overnight, people buy four, five, six, seven cars overnight. All those things are as a result of corruption. Mm. That is where it is coming from. And if we don't address that corruption, and this is not the lip service that we're currently playing to corruption, if we don't really you know, address this corruption, which really, by the way, is for me, in my opinion, the foundation of this country, because the money that is flowing, if you close up those corruption taps, I'm not sure what Nigeria will look like, yeah. because this money is actually trickling down to you and I in very, various different sources and ways. Yeah. Um, so again, we have to decide what type of Nigeria we want to build. But if we don't dr address corruption, I don't think that Nigerians will ever live simple lives. Absolutely. Totally. Okay, so um, um, Ade from the UK is saying, good evening, um, ladies. Most people that live a flamboyant life call it packaging. They mm. fake it even at social gatherings, right? Mm. So, I mean, the, I mean, this speaks to what I was saying about, you know, the brand experts will tell mm. you, you have to look a certain way and all of that. Mm. So I hear you that you have to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. And it's, this, is, this is me now. When I, go to, when I travel out of the country, I do not go into a Gucci store. I go to a Primark store. I go to a H&M uh, &M &M store, Zara. Zara store, that I know that, okay, with my 20 pounds, mm. with my 50 pounds, I'm able to buy something, that, and I'm, I'm buying something that would last, that I can wear over and over again. Mm -hmm. So the pressure, you have, to be, you have to be comfortable in your skin. You have to be comfortable to say, you know what, all of these things don't define who I am. Now, that something true. that came to my mind when we're having this conversation, mm. right? Mm -hmm. I believe that the people that are highly intellectual, mm. like, you know, when you know your audience, you know yourself. Exactly. Right? You will hardly find those people in this space. So sometimes it is when they are lacking in, maybe if they go to a social gathering, for instance, mm -hmm. and they're having a conversation and they know that nobody would hear them. Because, of course, there's nothing really upstairs. Mm. You know, pardon my English. But there's nothing upstairs. So they would now try to cover up with all the loudness. Oh, yeah, they're the ones buying all the drinks on the table. Mm. They're the ones spraying the waiter money. Mm. They're the ones doing all of those things. So they're seeking so, validation they're seeking with their validation. money. They're exactly. trying to make up for something that they lack. Mm. Right? So mm. if you understand that as a human being, maybe you would excuse some of this flamboyance that you see and not get carried away. 
Because right now, a lot of young people, are they are carried away. I was at a school, and we were having, um, what's it called? A, uh, um, what's it called? Um, an outreach. And the young boy called me aside and was telling me that the truth is that in his school, from SS2, they start to groom them for internet fraud. Right? And guess what he said? He said, hey, my mom would tell me that when you, I mean, finish school so that you go to university so that you start making money and, you know, you buy me this, you buy me that. So, you know what the, the internet fraudsters have told them? The internet fraudsters have told them that, okay, you when you go to... now. No, you don't need to go to university. Just come. We will groom you. you. You will make all the money and you will buy... Or, uh, all the things you want to buy for your parents. Mm -hmm. So parents... And then most parents don't question the source no. of income. Another That's another thing. Yeah. thing. What we expose these children to. Two. So for Uti, quickly in, in one minute, because we're wrapping up now, wow. what would you say, you know what, how can parents, because I believe that we have to go back to our roots, you mm -hmm. know, what can parents begin to do? Then I'll hear one, one minute from each, each of the ladies. Um, so, so I think that parents really need to not just speak it but live it because our children don't do what we say they do what they they do what, what they see. um they see so if you're telling your child to live a simple lifestyle and you're trying to have those kinds of conversations with your child but you're also living a very flamboyant lifestyle then it's difficult yes, now this is not to say look if you are wealthy you're allowed to enjoy your wealth so you are allowed to ride in the best cars. You're allowed to, to live in the best houses in the best neighborhoods. It is the character. It's not the about depriving yourself and teaching your, your child yeah. about deprivation. But it's about making sure that your child has the right values. Mm. I can have a billion dollars in my bank account and still not be a big spender. There's so many examples of those kinds of people that you know are out there today. So it's not about how much you have. It's just about where you place your yeah, value. Priority, is yeah. it on the wealth? Or is it on the things that are really, really important? So it's about going back to the drawing board and inculcating the right values in our children. All right, so quickly, Sanzi. Yeah, I'll say it's uh, just like Uti said, it's about um, priority and understanding that having more and doing more does not bring happiness. Absolutely. Happiness is an understanding of your true identity and confidence you have in yourself and valuing yourself. Absolutely. Quickly. Okay, um, for me, it's basically all about education and mind shift. So it's and the values we, we instill in our children. Yeah. Yes. All right, so living a simple life can really be simple. Just live on your own terms. <laughs> That's all I would say. So please watch a repeat broadcast of this episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. It's been a very insightful conversation. And keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms at Wish Your Africa One or at Plus TV Africa as we continue to hear what you're saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. That's from Leonardo da Vinci. da Vinci. We'll see you live on Friday at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy your evening.